At the start of this video, I do want to start off with a message of positivity because I think that what is going to be spoken about in this video, kind of clue may well be in the title of this video, but it's about something which is happening at the moment, which is not only costing lives as we speak, it is going to cost a lot of lives in the future, and this is kind of another attack on the gay community. Okay, so another day and another reason yet to moan about something which isn't actually happening even in my country. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know what's actually been happening, over the past couple of months, the, uh, or one of the people who's kind of in charge, uh, this Vladimir Putin or whatever his name is, Puntang, uh, he's been in charge of Russia and he's been coming out with these ridiculously homophobic laws. I mean, what he's basically done over the past couple of months is near enough make it illegal to be gay in Russia. And that's just, you know, I mean, that that's just one thing anyway, passing them sort of laws. I mean, you and I know that them laws shouldn't be existing in 2013. You know, we thought society had moved on a little bit more. Apparently it hasn't though, especially where Russia is concerned. <laughs> See, I thought there would have been more, but from doing a Google search, trying to find one of them websites where you can sign a petition or that sort of thing, I only managed to find one website that's actually doing it about what's happening in Russia at the moment, and that's been done by allout.org. I'll put the link to the... Uh, signy bit in the video description bit below and I urge you just to go and sign it even if you're not affected by these stories even if you're not gay whatever at the end of the day the sooner that we can make this change happen with Putin and his stupid retarded laws then the sooner hopefully we can stop these people from being killed Димой, да? Да, дядя Дима. Извиняюсь, дядя Дима. Миша, малыш. Вот, и... But of course that's not only it, is it? Because Russia is so uh, is supposed to be hosting the Winter Olympics, um, which is uh, going to be happening in 2014, so next year. Should these laws not have been changed and should these killings still have been happened, I can only suggest that the Winter Olympics should actually be done somewhere else. I wouldn't, I, I, I personally, if I was in charge of the Olympics, I wouldn't be going anywhere near Russia. Russia can go and fuck itself, basically. Um, so, I think there is a little bit of pressure that we need to apply to not only the Olympics committee or whatever the fuck they want to call themselves, but the people who actually support the Olympics as well. I mean, these are companies that have actually, in the past, spoken up for, like, marriage equality and gay rights and all that sort of thing. But these people are still going along and sponsoring the Winter Olympics. The country that it's going to be in, like, it is illegal to hold hands with a person of the same sex in public. It is illegal to kiss a person of the same sex in public. It is illegal to say the word gay in public in Russia. And that is, that's how stupid we're actually getting with these laws here, like, that's some of the things that have been put in. Okay, so pressure-wise, who do we need to be looking at? Who Who is sponsoring the Winter Olympics? Who's actually doing that? Okay, well, number one, you've got Coca-Cola. They are quite big sponsors, actually. Um, there is Atos. There is, I don't know who Dow is, but apparently they're doing it as well. GE, they're doing it. McDonald's. Omega, Panasonic, PG, Samsung, Visa, all these companies. I'm going to put the links to their contact us part of their websites. If you want to go and uh, contact them and make sure that your voice is heard when you say, I'm not fucking happy that you're sponsoring the Olympics in such a homophobic country, then you can go ahead and contact them. Why would you want to contact them in the first place? I hear many of you asking. The thing is, if, if you contact these companies that are actually sponsoring the Winter Olympics, they're not going to want their brand to be seen to be 
kind of supporting homophobic things. So if they know that people know that this shit's going on, they're going to threaten to pull out of the Olympics. And we're talking there is quite a bit of money coming in from these companies. So if these companies turn around and go, okay, if you carry on having it there, we're not going to damage our brand or our reputation. We're not going to give you any money. Then the Winter Olympics will have to do something about it. And it could be that either they push for political change or it could just be that they turn around and go, Russia, sit on it. Ладно, ты будешь еще так зарабатывать? Листовки будешь раздавать или пойдешь в жопу давать? Что раздавать? Листовки. Ну то же самое, листовки что очко твое, а только листовки бумажки. Ну ты уж определись, как работать ты. Лучше листовки. Лучше листовки? Лучше. Илья Мэдисон, привет. Привет, Мэтт. Что, ты тоже его смотришь, да? А как ты думаешь, мама бы как отнеслась к этому ко всему, если бы узнала то, что ты сейчас вот стоишь, тебя поймали за то, что ты хотел с дядей... Ты в камеру смотри, за то, что ты с дяденькой переспал... There's a really famous line from uh, what Martin Luther King said years ago, and it was that you don't remember the voices of your enemies, but you remember the silence of your friends. So the question is, now that you've seen this video and you've got all the links to go and contact all these people and you've got the links all over Google to go and read up about these torture stories, how silent are you? Гетерофилей, 